All right, time now to turn back to Cedric Haynes here in the Storm Alert Center. It is a Storm Alert weather day, and Cedric, you said more rain to come later today. Yes, Latrice, so we're kind of getting a little bit of a break out there this morning from the rain, but we do expect more rain and even a chance of a couple of thunderstorms to develop this afternoon. Now, I don't expect widespread severe weather developing across the area this afternoon, but we'll be watching out for the potential of an isolated strong to severe storm with the primary threat being some gusty winds. Let me show you what we're looking at right now in terms of visibility because that's probably the largest concern, at least at the lunchtime hour across the area. So as you can notice, especially as we get towards the higher elevations up along the Cumberland Plateau, that's where we have uh, some limited visibility. So we're seeing the visibility down to a quarter mile or less as you get up towards places like Altamont over down towards I-24. So if you're going around the bend there, heading up 24, heading over the plateau, you're going to run into some foggy conditions out there. Uh, so keep that in mind if you're traveling. Same story as you head up towards the northern portions of Bledsoe County, north of Dayton there, up along 27 and points to the north, you're going to run into some lower visibility as well. And right now we're not seeing that in the valley areas, but we'll keep a close eye on that as we go throughout the rest of uh, the early afternoon hours. Now temperatures are still on the mild side out there, despite the clouds and the rain that we're seeing. It's 55 degrees in Cleveland, 59 degrees in Dalton and Calhoun. We've got 58 degrees degrees in Murphy and Blue Ridge, 54 in Dayton and 57 degrees currently in Scottsboro, 59 degrees in Fort Payne. All right, so let's take a look at the flood watch because that's our primary concern for most of us as we go throughout this afternoon and this evening. Now, one thing to note here is that areas in southeast Tennessee from Chattanooga and points north have kind of been taken out of the flood watch for today. But still, I think you need to be aware that there could be some isolated flooding in some low lying areas. And then we still have the flood watch for our North Georgia communities here uh, going until seven o'clock this evening as well. So uh, just be aware that that potential will exist because we've got more rainfall that's moving in and we've We've already seen about one to two and a half inches across the area over the weekend, and we're likely going to add to that as we go throughout this afternoon. All right, so as we take a look at the radar close in, this is on that super sensitive mode, so it's picking up a lot of the precipitation, but you can see sprinkles starting to redevelop here across Cleveland, Chattanooga, and back towards the south. We're seeing more widespread rainfall over northeast Alabama and north Georgia, and that's the beginnings of that next batch of rain moving in. It's all associated with this warm front and you can see a big slug of rainfall, but the primary location of the heaviest activity will be along and south and east of I-75. So that's why areas north have been taken out of the flood watch. But again, notice we're seeing some thunderstorms redeveloping over west central Alabama that's lifting north. So that's why there is going to be a chance of at least a rumble of thunder too as this upper level low pressure begins to move our way. So as we time it all out for you again this afternoon, we'll notice an increase in rain between now and about two or three o'clock and some of those downpours will be locally heavy across the area and that could lead to some ponding on the roadways again around four five six this is if we actually saw a strong to severe storm i think we would see it notice how the winds kind of converge across the area that's an indication where we could see a broken line of storm so we'll watch that but i don't think it's going to be widespread and look at this by midnight tonight up along the cumberland plateau that green turns to blue. Yeah, so we could have some snow showers showing up there along the plateau areas as we go throughout the next 24 hours before it all kind of moves on out. As far as rainfall, an additional half an inch to an inch is likely this afternoon and this evening across parts of the area. And as far as uh, snowfall, not looking at anything too crazy, but potentially up to a half an inch up along the Cumberland Plateau. And then temperatures, they stay on a roller coaster ride, Latrice. So your seven day forecast, scattered rain and maybe some rumbles of thunder this afternoon. Not the best of days. And then after that, maybe a few snow showers in the mountains tonight.